this is an amazing release. Those of us who are patrons have had access to this for two days, but by the time you see this, anybody can access it. Previously, if you weren't a patron and you click continue, it would ask you to log in. But now you can click it and you can see what you have. What we have is a new core, which is an implementation of an IBM PC XT and also a Tandy 1000. What that means in a Tandy 1000 is it has a little bit different hardware features than just an IBM PC XT. Most notably, it has better sound than just a PC speaker. Many will just know it as Tandy sound. This is obviously a core for the Turbo Chameleon, which can be used as a standalone or as an expansion for the Commodore 64. Alistair states that it takes 97% of the capacity of the FPGA. That's really something else, isn't it? And once again, he works miracles here. When plugged into a Commodore 64, the C64 keyboard works. This release has CGA graphics, IDE hard drive support too. And let's look at the README to see what else we have for features. Basically, this can be con configured as a PCXT5160 or some of its clones. For that, you'll need a suitable BIOS, and there are BIOSes out there you can find. I may try to configure it as a Commodore Colt at one point. Then also, it can be configured as a Tandy 1000. Also, you have to get a suitable BIOS. The 8088 CPU can be cycle accurate at 4.77, 7.16, and 9.54 MHz. What's also nice is it can be configured as a 286. Pretty slow at 3.5 MHz, but that 286 compatibility will be pretty cool. It will open up the possibility of running a lot of different software. Video modes, you have VGA or even RGB at 15K Hz, so if you wanted to use an old monitor, you could. And you also have some support for Tandy graphics. Some limitation, but that should be enough to run a lot, if not most everything. For audio, you also have PC speaker, which is through the audio jack to your speakers, and also the Tandy sound. You have a Commodore 64 joystick support also. And for mouse, you use the PS2 mouse port on your Turbo Chameleon, which is bridged into a COM2 serial port. This is interesting to me because I'm wondering if we can repurpose this at some point for an actual serial point. I may try that. Because the core is so full that there's no MDA video or ad lib sound, no Game Blaster sound either. I noticed they don't mention EGA. I'm hopeful that EGA will just work under the VGA. But I've not asked Alistair. I have not had a chance to test it yet. I will. This comes with a sample free BIOS image, which is enough for getting going with basic usage. You can check this all out if you're going to set it up yourself. I'm just going to go over and uh, demonstrate something real quick. I'll see you in a minute. All right, let's load the cord, look at DOS, and load up an old CGA demo, see how it looks. I've not customized this yet. This is just a demo. The demonstration hard drive and the uh, sample BIOS. You can be sure I'll play with a lot more later and I'll probably have different videos coming up when I get really comfortable with it. Let's see what demos we have. By the way, you notice the keyboard works? Isn't that nice? Alright, why don't we try out Area 5150? That should stress it. There we go.
it. Like, my monitor's having a hard time with that one. That's a good place to cut it off. It's a nice multi-sync monitor, but it sometimes has problems with some things, and that may be happening there, so I might even break out the CRT VGA monitor. We'll see. And there's a lot to play with in there. This core was ported to the Turbo Chameleon by Alistair from a Mr. Core. If you appreciate ports like this, go over to Cores for Chameleon and give Alistair some love. If you're not a patron, consider it. I'm not affiliated with him. I'm just a patron myself, and I really appreciate his work. I use it heavily. Patrons over there get early access two days before. Anyhow, enough preaching. If you like this video please click like and subscribe and i plan on doing more videos about this core down the road at least one more because i'm going to set it up the way i want it and uh, really tweak it out and i think it'll be fun anyhow thanks see you on